Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second with cats roaming everywhere <laughs> looking They're for trouble. Very bad cats right now. Extremely bad. Yeah. You can see it in their eyes. Yeah. They look around looking yeah. for They're things. They're like, what chord can I chew? What is the most <laughs> crucial chord for this whole stream yeah. to work? Ah, oh, that HDMI out. cord. Yank. Yank. Yeah. Gone. Video yeah. gone. Yeah. Yep. Bad kitties. Yeah. So we're going to be playing some games today. We're going to be playing three games. Yay. Uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. And now this is the exclusive world premiere of the final, final edition. edition of it <laughs> that's going to go on the cartridge. He's mm. finished the game. Oh. So we get a first look at it. And it's got whole bunch of updated graphics cool. like he's reskinned the whole thing oh really yeah he's made new title screen uh, new look that's a whole bunch cool. of new stuff so that's going to be a lot of fun yeah um by vh said see whose t-shirt i'm wearing yeah today yeah and designed by him designed the by Bosconian him shirt uh and he must feel really good about that too like Ugh, it's, finishing it's a nice game. to 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 yeah. say a project's completed and, and oh yeah um, but it's a great sure. game so i'm very excited to see what changes oh, he's put in there goodness, for the final yes. version so. uh we're also yeah. going to be playing shattered earth the brand new game by uh rick Pryor, aka karyu yojimbo okay. and also whale dive uh, also put out this year mm. um, by Martin Vilkans, uh, uh, aka Vilkans. <laughs> um, so I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who support the show: Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoid, Danny VC, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Laud Mod, MK Smith, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC7E, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man. Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, S Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show and sub subscribe for free too if you have Amazon Prime and you just link that to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you follow, subscribe, and like a, uh, click like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And the numbers decreased so. Um, I think some subscriptions have lapsed and they don't tell you as far as I know no. when it runs out you have to click subscribe every, every month time because yeah. I guess they give you a chance to well subscribe to a different different channel I if think, you want or yeah I think uh, I think with the Twitch Prime too it's like yeah you can pick a different one every month if you want it because you only get so. one with your one subscription per month, yeah. yeah so I but, think yeah. that's the reasoning behind them but you, I think so and I guess they don't want to bother everyone with hey it ran out hey yeah. it ran out yeah every month and that that would be annoying yeah so yeah make sure you click subscribe <laughs> if you were subscribed and you didn't hear your name right. or see your name down this list here yeah um and I want to thank everybody who's tuning in live today to mm -hmm. see the new games Ground Trooper, Mick Muse, Carl G, Packrat VG, Yars Revenge Fan, welcome, that's a new name, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, uh, and way at the top, 8 Bit Fool, which is a new name as well. So welcome to everybody mm -hmm. and all those lurking and all those people watching later on YouTube. Uh, so, mail, news, and feedback. Um, I could have done an unboxing, but I already opened it. He got uh, too excited. Too excited. <laughs> um, this is the latest in the basic fun line of games, um, kind of tabletop, mini tabletop mm. games. Um, very much like the Coleco games from the uh, early 80s. Um, they are not emulation inside of here. It's not just like the arcade version and put on a chip a little and play LCD it. screen yeah yeah an lcd screen it's it's like an led screen it's it's little lines lit up like the old um like the old coleco vision ones and mm. now i have i've i now have all of them <laughs> so far that they've uh, that put you out know of. yeah 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 so you know there's like pac-man and frogger and miss pac-man joust asteroids cubert space invaders tetris centipede and Galaga, and this latest one's Defender. It's not my favorite game, Defender. I find it really hard to control the mm -hmm. ship because there's a lot of momentum and it takes forever to turn around. But saying that, this is a really good version of Defender mm -hmm. for drawing it with like lines and stuff like that. Um, so if you like Defender, this is really, really good. Mm. Um, 
it took me probably half, well, four months at least to find this mm. uh, after they put it on their web page. Um, it, they said it was on Amazon. They said it was on some other places. But you had our time finding. But it was never listed there, right. ever. Mm. Um, so I found it not too long ago um, at Baby Toys R Us. <laughs> That's where I fa finally found it. Because it always said, oh, it's at Toys R Us. Never there. You could never find it. That's and then really funny. I just did a general Google search for this, and it's mm. even hard to do that. Yeah. Um, it came up Baby Toys R Us. And and I was like, yeah, instantly buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, before it runs out. Um, I wonder if it has a Switch jumper that uh, causes it to run other games in the series. Uh, previous releases did let Ben Heck did a teardown of one. Mm. This is not those. You can't, you can't make it do other games. It's built in, burned in little lines. If you've ever played the old Coleco ones, mm. it's actually drawn on the screen and it lights up different parts of the screen. So there's like, say there's a, it's a fighting game. Mm. There'd be like 10 different guys burned in in different positions mm. and it would just light up your different moves or it, light up a leg or an arm. It's almost like manual animation. It's hard yeah. to explain, but it's like physically in the screen. Yeah. yeah, it's it's built in. You can't substitute a game. You have to take out the whole thing and put a mm. whole different screen in. And it's specifically this brand, like you said, Basic Fun. Yeah. All of no them in this series are yeah. like that. They're all, they're all the LED... Now, if you're talking about the ones that you're like, the ones you're referred to are like this kind where it's actually the game is emulated in here. Like yeah. I think the NES game version of Galaga mm. is emulated in this and you can change out the games. Yes. If you're clever to do that. Yeah. yeah like Tiger Electronics. That's yeah. that's one An that equivalent. people know. Yeah. But those are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus the Tiger Electronics are terrible. This is a very good version of Defender. Yeah. They're and they're and they're new. Like they're they're brand they're new. Brand new. These yeah. are brand new. Um, this is the latest one. Um, this one's really really good. Some of them are bad. Some of them are good. The Pac Man, the Frogger, Joust is terrible. Asteroids is really good. Cubert's good. Uh, let's just say the bad ones. Um, Joust. That's the worst. It's just terrible. Terrible. So don't get joust if, if you joust. buying them for fun. I'm just buying them to have them all because they're so But unique. how did you get... You got one, obviously, in the first place and realized... It how... was in a local store here. I think so, yeah. What was that? Bed Bath & Beyond? What? No, Pier 1? What, no, no, it was Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond. They had, had them. They had a couple of them. Yeah. And I saw... And I knew about these, but I didn't know about this type. And they had this type, and I turned it on because it has demo mode. In the yeah. store, right? You can just press it and it goes you, on for 10 seconds. You can't play it, but it yeah. lights up. And I went, oh my God, that's exactly like the old Calicos. Yeah. Like the other things are, are nothing. Like yeah. they take, it's just a tiny screen and a chip with the game on it. Yeah. You can do that at home. You can buy all those components. Yeah, that's true. This takes like proper engineering and retooling. Like this has not been done before. This Defender. This, it's just, the cats are crazy. So that's what makes this unique. Yeah. Should I go and see what just no, happened? No, no, no. The door's not open, so it's fine. <laughs> there was just a big crash. I don't know if you heard that on the mic, but it was clearly a cat-related crash. Cat-related crash. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just we heard scramble, 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 voomp. Scramble, scramble. They're probably just Ugh. being silly. Cats? Being, being cats. cats. Oh, hey, Dan, ABC. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, last was it last episode we played Shades? Yes. yes, I like Shades. Yeah. So, um, after playing um, Place Off Shades on the show last episode, yeah. and mentioning you know, about the colors, and you know, you should... It's a little hard. A little yeah. hard to distinguish some of the colors, yeah. um, and that we said, oh, it's probably easily hacked by just changing the codes for the colors. Yeah. So change the lightest green to, to more white, yeah. and then just kind of shift them apart a bit. Um, on Monday, Thomas Yench posted a hacked version of, oh. of Shades. Okay. Um, on the Atari H forums, and uh, which helped it a lot. It oh, okay. was, it was a lot easier to tell. And then Playsoft, the person who did post it, did a huge update to the game. Oh. Um, because he said he was done with it. He's like, no, nope, this yeah. is it. Done. So yeah. I expected nothing. And that's why I said, well, maybe somebody wants to hack it. Because yeah. it seemed like he had no interest yeah. in, in pursuing it. Because it was from a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so... Thomas Yance said, attached is an NTSC version with hacked colors. This one should work better, I hope. 
And I said, yeah, it, that works. I said, this is great, Thomas. It makes the colors a lot easier to distinguish without taking too much away from the difficulty mm. of matching and correctly stacking. All that's left is to be able to reset the game without pyrocycling. Because that was another yeah. issue. We had to turn off, off. the console yeah. and turn it back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then PlaySoft uh, replied back to Thomas. Thanks, I hadn't tried using different hue values. Initially, I wasn't sure as it doesn't look quite as nice, but I got used to it after playing it a while. It definitely helps distinguishing the blocks, which was my reasoning for not finishing it off. Mm. Um, and then PlaySoft uh, posted an update and said, I've added a title screen, three difficulty <laughs> modes, which select the initial speed of the blocks. I didn't think the game needed to be any harder, so expert mode plays as before. Normal's a little mm. slower and easy is a lot slower. Those two speed up after a while. Mm. You can abort the game by pressing reset, which takes you back to the title screen. The NTSC build uses yeah. the hacked colors. The PAL colors aren't changed. So it's great. <laughs> you wow. took an old game, somebody hacked it, and then yeah. the original person went, Yeah, I'll make a few more changes. <laughs> let's make it official, right? So we're wow. going to take a quick, quick oh, look okay. at that, it. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. We're not going to play a full game. No, no, that's fine. Take a, a quick yeah, look yeah, at it so that. Cool. Um, this is quite. This is so heavy, this, this well, controller. Well, if it was light, I don't no, think no, it would work as well. It's got like a metal bottom. It does. It's a very it's heavy quite, model. It's bottom. quite a solid uh, controller. Like, it's yeah, that's impressive. why I like it. Because it's got some weight to it. It's not just... Uh, uh. NTSC. Yes. He didn't change the other ones. Okay. Oh, look at this. High score. Shades. Look Actually, yeah, it has a high score built into it, too. Nice. Um, unfortunately, he didn't make the screen joystick enabled. You still you have to go to the system. To press start. That's yeah. fine. So, uh, select changes from normal, expert, novice. Okay. Um, so we'll just, we'll do it on normal. Yep. And then you do reset to start. Oh, well, actually the button to start. It says trig. Oh. And let me turn it up because he's actually changed the sounds as well. Oh, there's sounds too. Yep. So before it did have sounds, but they're just like tiny, tiny sounds. There you go. So it's it's quite a bit easier to distinguish the colors. It is, but it's still challenging. It doesn't appear. So that one's quite a bit lighter, and it goes into the blue hue. Yes, a bit. I agree. Yeah. It's still got a little bit of challenge. It's not like gr red and blue no. and green and yellow. They're not that. Um, far apart. No, there's still definitely a challenge to it. Yeah. So neat. Welcome, E. Chris Indy. E. Chris Indy. <laughs> e. Chris Indy. There you go. Um, and it still has the the preview at the neat. top. Um, and it's all the same rules. It's change the palette. Change the sound effects. Oh my god, the cats are crazy upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. It's good they're not here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe wrecking stuff. Mm -hmm. So it kind of just pulled apart the colors a bit more because there was like three of them that were like really, really close and very challenging to try and figure out. So there you go. Oh, yeah. So it does it is make easier. it easier. Yeah, yeah. So probably starting on expert because we've played it before would be a better yeah. option. But still, it's, uh, oh, it's pretty good. Mm hmm. I played the hell out of the iOS version of this a couple of years ago. Oh, Mick yeah. Muse knew, knew about this game. Because yep. we don't we don't have Apple. Yeah, products, and, and I mean so we didn't see it. But it there's is lots a, of little games out there too yeah. for iOS and uh It's a matching game. Oh it's great. But I haven't seen ones with rules like this, where it's shades of colors Shoot. matching yeah. it up. <gasps> you messed up. I did. It's one rule of this game, don't put darker upon lighter. You have to dig it out. But I guess that's like Tetris. It's like one block that's yeah. a different color. I think it's harder to dig well, out. Not Tetris, but other matching games um, with colored blocks. It's like, no, you're not getting that out for a while. <laughs> that's buried. Ground Trooper says, this looks really good. Yes, it's a great mm -hmm. game. You can find it in the Atari Age forums. Um, so, that's it. You're done. What? You're done. What? <laughs> okay, you want to play I the it, my game? I don't know if it, you'll play it for a while now. Oh, it's getting faster. Oh, there we go. Now it's speeding up. I guess that's done by score. Yeah, I would that's think That's the so. easiest thing to do. It's like, if your score is above this, your speed is this. Yeah, 
now it's you have to move a little bit quicker, especially when it starts piling up. Yeah, nice polishing of the game. Yeah, that's mm. this is everything it needed. Like everything that that I requested, he's put in the game now. Yeah. <laughs> Which made it a finished game, really. Yeah. You can reset it. It's not like because I told him I you have to kind of squint a bit and wait for the last second. It's like, does that match? No, it yeah, doesn't match. Yeah. Abort, abort, yeah. go to the left. I mean, it does make it challenging. And sometimes it's interesting to have a game that's challenging. Like if yeah. someone is really good at distinguishing colors. Not to the point of They annoyance. could do really well relative to other people, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, but I thought but, it was a uh, little too tough. Oh, shoot. See, you're Very still, close. Not, still not getting it perfect. No. And when you have to move the speed... Changes all due to zero page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're taking well, credit. <laughs> um, well, ah, did it we did again? play it on the show. But um, no, <laughs> I'm just I, I think that um, is a good thing about the show, is that we can show it off. Yeah. We can get feedback from the people watching. And some of the developers want need that feedback. They're like, I've, I've hit a wall. Yeah. I don't know... What else to put in? Does it play well? Um, I need some feedback, and I think it's really valuable for the developers to get that kind of um, kind of feedback. Um, so I'm really happy we can provide that for the ones that that need it. He didn't ask for it, um, but we put it on the show anyway and gave feedback. Because <laughs> why not? It it benefits everyone. It benefits um, the developers for the peop for the ones that want the feedback, and it benefits the players that uh, they get a game that they enjoy playing. And this, I think, is a lot more playable and a lot more usable because you can reset yep. it. And, no, and it, now it, it has different... I think it's uh, I think it's very cool. Great sounds. Oh, yeah, the sounds are wonderful. It's like harmonized sound. It's not just one tone. It's like two, two, two tones together. Prow says, oh, you have a revised version of Shades. Yes, he posted this yesterday, today? I don't know, when did he post it? I think it was yesterday. Maybe it was today. Oh, it's very fun. <laughs> Play this for a while. Uh, uh, nice. There you go. Yeah, we may have to stop. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're you're too good Aww. at it. It needs a faster speed, if, if anything, it I think. It might increase at some point i think well, maybe okay you're done you're done you're done you're done, you're done. all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but great improvement maybe maybe a higher speed but i don't know if we hit it um i, I also wanted to thank scott dayton who's been posting a ton of links to homebrew games um that i might have missed otherwise in the facebook group atari 2600 homebrew games hmm. Um, he posted about Whale Dive that we're going to be playing today. Cool. Um, because some games like that aren't posted in the Atari Age forums. They're mm. posted like... Elsewhere. Yeah. Somewhere else. Mm. Um, um, and they can get missed by some people. Including me and everybody else that's on that. And um, may not uh, get the exposure because some people just don't know about the Atari Age forums. They don't want to sign up or just are not part they of just, that. They just they don't put it out to the public. They put yeah. it out to a few people and yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, so let's get to the big game today. Ninja Sky in Low Res World mm -hmm. 2020 exclusive a final build that's going on the cartridge. It's made by Vladimir Zuniga, yep. aka VHZC. Press button. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, this was first posted April 23rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. So pretty much a year okay. in development. Yep. Um, you can go to the directory. Oh, it's at the top for some reason. Oh. Uh, this build is from <laughs> April 28th, 2020. Yesterday. He, he's been updating me regularly. Nice. Oh, actually, don't start it. Sorry. No? Yeah, because I should show that. Okay. Press button. So just wait. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's get the proper cover. And he also sent me uh, the graphics for uh, Ninja Sky. 
So you can go into that. Have it switched over? Go for it. There we go. So you can see it load up. There you go. Nice. So that's his new title screen, VHZC 2020. Mm. Um, so he messaged me a couple days ago saying, I finished Ninjish Guy, wondering if you wanted to show it on your program. I immediately said, no. Absolutely not. Go away. Not. Who are you? <laughs> now I said, of course. Uh, the levels are the same as the release candidate with minor tweaks, but almost all the sprites were redesigned. Mm. This version is for the cartridge release and will be not be released as a public ROM at the moment. Mm. Um, so this is the 32K F4 game. Other games he's made, Dory Me, Draco, Iran, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, Low Res Racer, Ninjish Guy, uh, Peril, and a Roach in Space. Mm -hmm. And it's not available. This won't be available, but he's going to put it eventually. on cartridge. Okay. I'm guessing through the Atari, through Atari Age, because that's who he's released other games okay, for. Okay, cool. Um, no screen? Oh, yeah, there's a screen. Oh, thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> I think when you first started. When I first started, yeah. 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 Um, so let's, uh, I'll let you take a first pass at it. And so and that. He's a little different. He's got a, a big round head. Ah. Ooh. Were the hearts there? Oh, clear. Um, they may look different. The hearts were there. Oof. And that's diff different block light. Everything's different. Every single thing. I think the ladders were a different nice. color. I like the clear screens. Oh, yeah, it kind of gives you a little, a little different. reprieve between levels. Um, so about the new look, he says, uh, I was never, t I wasn't ever happy oh. with the previous design of the player sprite and the final boss sprite. <laughs> oh my god. So okay. I redesigned them, inspired more in ZX Spectrum sprites than 2600. It was a little hard because ZX Spectrum has more pixels to use for each sprite. Uh, uh, once I was happy with this player sprite, I had to redesign almost all the other sprites oh. too in order to have a more coherent look. I also tweaked oh. some details in the play field designs, sound effects, and fonts using yeah. some tricks I learned programming the new peril. I look at the score font. It's beautiful. Yeah. Just an outline of yeah, of, it's really cool of the numbers. Like that's I love hit the fonts that he uses. Oh, oh, too far. Yeah, I'm I'm not quite. The jumping is is sensitive. Yeah, it's. Very, I remember that from very, the last time I haven't played it in a while. But... It's very responsive. It's very say. responsive. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used. Uh, to. Oh, and I was creating an effect for a new project I like, so I had to use it as a transition screen between rooms in this so there is uh so it is in the latest build heart was there oh yeah you got the heart good oh you have to slide you have don't no, you no you just don't have sliding doesn't help it doesn't make you go faster you just get right up to it so yeah there you go yeah it's like zero zero times sliding, sliding underneath helps because it comes down yeah didn't do it anyway <laughs> you don't need to do it on the bottom it's a lot easier so you Ooh. designed those rocks redesigned the rocks nice. what were they before just kind of fire or? blocks or something meteors maybe with fire coming i think that's a later screen danny c says nice improvement from the previous version make muse very impressive game mm -hmm. uh e chris cindy e chris indy pitfall meets elevator action yeah it's it's like a platform he's he, if you've ever seen VHZC's games, they're they're incredibly creative, and every screen has a different mechanic. Oh. You better be moving. Move. Don't be sliding. No, <laughs> but before the slide, yeah, it was a little different. It felt a little different. He maybe. says he hasn't touched any controls. Yeah, but it. I, well, I guess I'm not pushing. I'm just pushing down. That's yeah, why. Yeah, down, down doesn't give a direction. Did the previous version have a lighter background? Yeah, it looked lighter for sure. Yeah. I don't know if it's our screen or. Um, the, the, possibly it might be the screen. It you, is darker. You guys are seeing it actually a little bit darker. No, it is darker. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 It was more white before. Hmm. Actually, I'm not changing anything on this. Okay. Yeah. It might've been a little bit lighter. Oh, that was close. It's, weird. it's like chompers from galaxy quest. Chompers. The chompers. 
Oh, were you on the screen where it uh, hit hit down, hit downward? Um, yeah, if you've ever played uh, VHZC's games, every screen has a different mechanic, um, which makes it really a dynamic game. And it's amazing he's able to put all Not these quite. into a game. You wanna go? I will be playing it for a while. Oh, that's fine. That's yep. fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope I will. <laughs> um, last time we played this... Um, James is an expert. I haven't played it in a little while, so... I don't know about expert, but <laughs> I'm good at it. Um, and I love platform games. Yeah, I know this is your, this is your thing. Your thing. Um, last time we played it, we wanted to get to the end of the game. And um, mm. so we cheated. <laughs> We used, we used the emulator. We were using the emulator at the time mm. because I didn't have a, an Atari to hook up. Yes, that's right. That's right. Um, so we... You were restarting We took advantage levels. of the rewind I remember feature. that. Yeah, to show the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. And because we didn't think we'd make it to the end. But after playing through it, I am pretty sure I can make it to the yeah. end. Actually, yeah. jumping does help there. Yeah. Because it gets you above it a little bit. Yeah, I got past it, though. Not too much trouble. There's only really one screen that I'm kind of scared of. And it is a screen with a platform on it that is really, really tricky. And you have to do a bunch of moves really mm. quickly in a row. Um, so that's the only thing I'm really scared of. Everything else, not too bad because I played it it's a lot. It's tiny, yeah. Yeah. And getting used to the jumping. The jumping's like, like yeah. as you say, it's very precise and sensitive. Oh my god! Which makes stuff like that a little awkward sometimes. Yep. Oh you my have to god. be very precise. There you go. I've seen VH said C play it. Um, oh yeah. And his um, his playthroughs. He oh. has trouble with those guys too. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't feel so bad after seeing his <laughs> there playthroughs. He is. Hey, VH welcome VH Hello. Hello. And it's kind of okay to Skulls. die like a, a little bit because there's quite a few yeah. free lives here and there. Which is good, which is good. Yeah. I like the clear screens. I like that. That's a nice addition. Yes. Gives a little bit of a... And we're both fond of the uh, fonts that, that you picked out too. Yes. Excellent fonts. Yeah, he did. He did lose two lives on that screen. I know. <laughs> Terrible. Those... Those little blue ninja dudes, man. You have to hit them square on top of the head. Yes. They are probably one of my biggest nemesis in this game you lose two lives and that's great <laughs> yeah oh the big one yeah. oh he moves fast i don't have too much trouble with slow this forward fast back oh you have to hit him a lot of times nice i don't think there's any life in this one no Loud enough for everyone? I'm going to turn up just a little bit. There we go. There's the key we have to come back for. Or the door. The door. Yeah. That you need the key for. Mm -hmm. Have you played this since he gave you? A little tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. Just just to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, it was, was working. Because I don't want to go on the show and it's like, oh, everything's crashing. <laughs> nothing's working. How embarrassing. <laughs> On our end, too, not necessarily yeah. the game itself. That's how you do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's super hard. And there's the key you need. And I need some more lives. Oh, <laughs> we didn't know this before, did we? Uh, I, Yeah, I played it. Really? With that. So here's my extra lives. And, and now I'm full. And I got a little... That's, I think that's different because it used to be just hearts. Oh, I see. So, so you get like a ring or something. <laughs> it's like go, bonus points. Bon yeah, that makes sense. That um, makes sense. Because I think it stayed as a heart before. So that's a little bit of a programming mm. change. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Doing it the other way is, is possible. Like one at a time. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> Somebody commented in the face 
on the Facebook post that he did is mm. like, is this guy really good or is the game hard? And, and um, well, it was VHZC playing the game. Oh, of course. So, <laughs> so he um, was really good. <laughs> he's played the levels a couple times, yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, make me use of this. Came out for the Atari back in the day. I feel like it would have been ahead of its time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a common saying for a lot of homebrew. It's like, yeah. this would have sold a million copies. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, that would have been an extra heart. Ah. So it's pretty, pretty good with the hearts. You get like a green lifesaver. That's kind of yep, what it looks like. Yep, to suck like. on. Yum, 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 yum. Green ones are the best. Get the lime ones. Now this, you need to go really fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it catches up. Some things are like such close timings and some things are not too not as bad not as hard yeah yeah <gasps> for some reason i have trouble with that too you wouldn't think it's uh it's the preciseness of the jumping and, and the movement in the air yeah. it takes a little getting used to for sure it it does because you can move really quickly yes with this guy you can yeah there's no drag. You just, that just... one's very tight timing, too. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you like These that. These are my favorite. The color of the red, they're like fluorescent. <laughs> like, I didn't think that was possible. And I especially know. with the slightly gray background, it makes the brighter colors really stand I think it's out. It's a combination. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, you gotta get out of the way of that. Okay. So. You gotta get to the far side. Far left is fine. Oh, you have, to, you have to go really there. Yeah, you can this go into the safe. corner. And this is safe. Then you have to jump over a barrel and then jump on him. Really? Yeah. Because there's just not enough time. Oh. Nice. Luckily, he's defeated in one. <laughs> yeah. How many levels are there? I tried to count them last time. There's a lot of the levels. Dragons, too. this you kind of have to jump before they shoot because it takes time to get to where they're shooting to. Nice. Yeah. Down a life though. Uh, I think this one is Ooh, pretty, it's tighter. Pretty t uh, I think it's tighter than what it was before. Uh, maybe. Was it? I, I don't I don't think so. I love these little eye things yeah. that follow you up at the top. There's a couple levels where it's yeah. like, hey, where are you going? Eyeball. Oh, little screen jump there. Not a big deal. Oh my goodness. How come I can't get up? Is there some, something I need to do? No, I don't think so. Last right. time. Uh-oh. Can you swim to the right? <laughs> nope. No. Nothing here. Can you go further up before oh. you jump? Oh. There you go. Tricky. Yeah, tricky, tricky, water. tricky. Yeah. Have just a composite mod instead of RGB probably makes the colors pop a bit more too. Yeah. Yes. You get a nice subtle 3D yeah. effect. Yeah. You do because there's a little bleed on mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So there's a kind of a little color being off a bit. A little bonus for mm -hmm. having a Composite. <laughs> okay. okay, this one is tricky because you it it leaves a tiny little sliver. Yeah, that'll that has kill tricked you. me before. It's like, oh it's gone. No, no, no. It's not gone. It's almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very he's very deliberate with that for sure. Mm -hmm. And and the the timing on this one's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so you have to go there. Good job. Not bad. I think you can walk across yes. this. Can you? No, I don't think so. I mean, you wouldn't make it so you could walk across this. That seems too easy somehow. Walking across? Yeah. Or sliding, yeah. Oh, maybe sliding. I'm not going to take the risk. 53 screens, some of them repeat, so 40-ish different. Gotcha. Okay. Mm yeah, it has you an do, end, don't repeat. Because <laughs> you do double back on some things. 
Mm, that's like true. at the beginning, the key, yep, and then do. you go get the key and you come back. You come back, and then it becomes a slightly different challenge. This looks hard, but it's more visually impressive than hard. <laughs> because you get a lot of time before that little fishy comes yeah. back. Now I know I have to... Oh, this is a boss now. <laughs> oh, a little screen jump there too. If you wanted to clean up some some errors. <laughs> James is like, look, I can make a jump. Yeah. That's pretty small. It is. It's not screen breaking or anything, but if if he cares, <laughs> I'd go crazy. <laughs> if I was making games like, <gasps> it's making a jump. Oh, that guy's totally different. Yeah. Looks like, like a, a cyclops or a watch with legs. <laughs> like a watch band. A watch band. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. And I this, like him. That's cute. This one's Oh, oh no, it goes too high. You have to go to the Oh, I know what I did before. Yeah. Went up to the left. Mm-hmm. Oh. not. What the hell? Yeah. Oh you oh got my caught. God. You you do kind of get caught on the corner sometimes. There you go. Uh. You have to slide and jump. Ooh. Oh my god. That is tight. I'm going across. There you Forget go. Forget that noise. <laughs> I have to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Oof, that was I good. need lives. Hearts. Now. Needs hearts. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now. Heart, 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 heart. See, this double back, right? Yes, that's right. Love it. Love it. Yeah, and the little details VH said he adds in with the screen dimming. Mm-hmm. As if there's power being power drawn being from the, yeah, from the lights power surge in the room. The lights are dimming, yeah. That's awesome. It's VH it's, it's a robot. It's called Roberto for no particular reason. <laughs> oh, Roberto. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Roberto. Oh, these shooty guys. These aren't too bad. They can be tricky, though. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't move, so you just have to... Get to them. Watch their bullets. That guy's against the wall, so... It's a good one to start with. Yeah, this, this one's harder because you have to make your way over to him. Yeah. There you go. And then one more. Nice. Oh, um, not one more. More! I can't remember how <laughs> yeah, many. I can't remember either. More. Yeah, lots of them. <sighs> hearts, please. Hearts. <laughs> hearts. Where's the hearts, please? Oh boy. <sighs> hearts. Oh. Oh, back here. Back here. Are there more hearts at the oh, end? Oh, I hope so. I need a refill badly. Oh no, it's a different. Okay. Oh yeah, you have to hit the button. Fine there. Is this timed? No. Oh, I can't remember. I remember that guy. Coming back, that guy's deadly. Oh, really hard. You have to jump Going in the middle. Th yeah. This way, it's fine. Yeah, you walk at his speed. Yeah. Mm. Domo, domo. Okay. I think I can do the center jump again. Yeah. yeah. It's usually the fastest way. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me. I think this one is where it's like, oh, it looks bad, but it's it's not too bad. It's just time. It's quite fast, though. Yeah. one no <laughs> you're like please please, please it's been many hearts. screens <laughs> of course there's probably ones that i've missed and i think Maybe. he said that before where you, 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 you there's some them. there that you haven't found yet yeah yeah where it's not like as obvious as a <sighs> button on the wall yeah we have to go to a, a hidden wall secret somewhere. part maybe down here hearts <laughs> You're like the cat. Treats, treats, anyone? Treats, treats, treats anywhere. So treats here, <laughs> here, 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 here. Oh, yeah. 
Oh boy. You have to oh jump the mi- over it in the middle, right? Yes. You have to time that really well. Even that's going to be hard. So even just as he hits that. Yeah. There oh, you go. Okay. I, I swear that was harder before. Maybe I just didn't know how to do it at first. Yeah. Hearts. 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 I'm really desperate for hearts. 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 It's the only things you can do is like jump Slide or Slide or, yeah. Hearts. I no. love the slide position. Oh, he's great. Yeah, slide. that's really good. Slide, slide. Yeah, very cool. Are the screens nu screens numbered sequential or is it ba very? But, uh, no, because it's there's it's pretty linear. I think um, there's only one exit for the most part. There's only just, yeah. there are a couple of sections where you there's no follow a path and then have to go backwards. Yeah. But most of it is, it's one way. It's is all one way. One way. Yeah. I don't think you can. You, I don't think you can can go back unless you've already been. Okay. I think this is just like... Do it one at a time. Yeah. Can't you kill one of them? Uh, not in this, because you can't jump on their heads. Oh, yeah, you have to jump on that on the, guy's On the head. top one, right? And then that door opens, I think. Yeah. I'm going to look for hearts. hearts maybe there? Yeah, this, this looks like a heart level. Because it's Feels. so open. Up, down, hit, hit, hit the ceiling. No. Uh, maybe here. Hearts. <laughs> hearts. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> hearts. Because there's a level coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... This is bad. This is a bad level. Because I don't understand the way this level works. With the hand? Yeah. Can you jump in the middle? Oh, yeah. Like, when I've successfully passed this level, I just move and I don't stop. Yeah. But you could go jump, jump. Like, just oh, yeah. one jump in the middle, yeah. I love that hand, though. It's awesome. Because he moves with you. Oh, right? oh yeah. Oh, I think it's the timing. The hand always goes up at the same time. Yeah. But it can, wherever you are, it can get you. Yeah. So you have to be past it. Secret? Hand reminds me of Joust. Yes, it is mm. a very scary hand. Like it's a good it's, hand. It's there to and it's in a pool you. of blood too. Yeah, it could be lava, but it looks like lava. blood to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is tricky because of the timing. Middle, down, down. top, top, middle. Oh, ah. challenging. I got stuck in the wall there. Yeah, weird. you can get caught on corners. Yeah. <laughs> Top. Down. Down. Middle. Top. Now. There you go. Ugh. slide does it make you smaller vertically yes it does so that would help a little bit this guy's not too bad and the slime doesn't kill you like this stuff is fine and you have a safe space so which is good so i don't find this boss too bad slimy yeah. i like the slime was the slime <laughs> there before was it something different uh it was it was green he may have redesigned was it, a, was it Was it a green ninja? Uh, no, it no. It was slimy. Mm, he may have changed it a little bit. He may have gotten further than the last time I saw you. Yes, play. yes I think so. Yeah. This, this uh, is where no, I maybe. die. Oh, yeah, because you have to duck. And I have one And life. jump over. Ugh. And I'm very bad with these platforms. And the platform Over coming hard. down is hard. Because you can't, you have to land on it. It is Slimer. Oh. 
you go play again because yeah. you're you're getting further and I won't get as far, so I'd rather watch you play it. After so. that level, yeah, it's not too difficult. Mm. It's hard, but I find that one was the hardest one. I've died so many times on the emulator, rewinding it. So many times. Oh, but I died very poorly. Uh, when I, I shouldn't have died at all on any of these levels well, up to that. Well, yeah. I like these little red fluorescent. I think they're bats, but they look mothy to me, too. <laughs> mothy? Fluorescent red. Death moths. <laughs> death said moths. I don't know what they call those. What was that? The, what was the one in Silence of the Lambs? Yeah, death, death said. said. Death said, right? I think so. Death yeah. said moths. Yeah. Appropriate. I'll get it this time. Yeah. <laughs> Can you step off the platform on the level that you died on? Mm, maybe, but I think that if you step off of it, you can't really direct yourself as easily if you're mm. in the air and you try and yeah. steer to land. It is, it is. You can, but yeah, it's Yeah, you it's can step off and, and just land on it. Mm. But I really want to get six lives when I end up there because that'll give me my best chance. My connection was off temporarily. Where did you die? <laughs> on the spot where I knew I would. Uh, the big, it, the big spiky vine that go, where you're on the platform that goes in the in the in the um, square. Jesus, that's not where I should die. These guys, the worst. Yeah, the platform that goes in a square. Uh, yeah, with the vine. And you had to duck underneath. Yeah, that one. That one is definitely some solid timing to get through that. Yep. Can you also jump different heights by holding down, tapping the button? No. Well, you hold it, you nope. go higher, right? Nope. Oh, this. no. It's just one. Oh, uh, okay. I thought for some reason if you held it longer, but that might no. have been completely it's psychological. A different game. Yeah. Different game. Completely psychological. I can't remember what game that is, but. The skulls. Beautiful skulls. I love all these The redesign little... is great. Yeah, and I love all the little, um, the design of all the. Oops. Sprites, I guess they are. Yeah. Characters. The characters. Yeah. I especially like the fluorescent fireballs, though. They're like my favorite. <laughs> yes, they're beautiful. <sighs> dark level. Kind of dark. Flashes on and off. Yeah. I don't mind dark levels like that. It's mm. fine. <laughs> Fully dark. Oh my god. And Maisie, the worst. The worst. Mm -hmm. Game go. and plays look great. The 2600 needs more platformers. Yes, yes please. Make tons more platformers. <laughs> My favorite. Favorite. Yeah. What was the... Uh, and shooters. The balloon game that goes back and forth. The um, Crazy balloon. Crazy balloon. We need to play more of, more of that. It's so hard. It's so good, though. But it is, yeah. We haven't played enough of it. It's such a good game. Yeah, we need to, we need to bring that world, back. If you, if you have record. some space in, in your schedule, we need to shove it in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good game. I did have a world record on that. Come on. Open. It's a problem. <gasps> Are you full? What? No. It's a problem. It's denying you hearts. Slide what into it. What is happening? Slide into it. There oh, you go. Okay. You have to slide into it. That's that's. Hi, Andrew Davy. Hey, Andrew Davy. Yeah, you have to slide into it. There. There you oh, go. and then you get some lifesavers. Yeah, hundred hundred points. Clear. And you drop from the ceiling. Full hearts, and I got to keep these hearts. Mm -hmm. Because I need them for that terrible level. Platformers with puzzles, even better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I emailed you, Mark. You or your, your partner, so. Not Mark Space. Your name's not Mark. <laughs> it's Mark Space. Um, <laughs> but I emailed you today, so. Yeah, it is such a cool game. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. I'm hoping... Well, the aim is to beat it today. As 
long as these ninjas don't get me. They just go back and forth. I think my best bet is to stay on the left, as far left, because if I miss them, yeah, the chances are they won't hit me. Like, if I stayed there, the whole... Yeah, but yeah, because they bounce back. But if I stayed there, back. they could get me on the way back. But if I stayed there... Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, you just have to control yourself in the air. World's loudest... Paddle button presser. <laughs> It is very it loud. It is a noisy one, sorry. It is definitely noisy. Oh, there's the eyeball. I like the noises, too. Mm -hmm. Ninja stars. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely one of those games where you're like, oh, you're leaning with it to you give it more to... speed. Go, go! This is where I lost a life last time, too. Well, it's hard on the platforms. Yay! Moving platforms and ninjas are my worst <laughs> enemies in this game. The bosses, for some reason? Nah, no problem. No lives lost. This is not good. That one's very, very tight timing. Yeah. Oh, my favorite. Fluorescent. Love the fireballs. Love them! They're great. Yeah, great design. And VHZC... Mr. Space. That's <laughs> Mr. Mr. Space, Space to you. you. Yeah. <laughs> VHZC is a, a, a designer. A nice. graphic designer. Uh, I almost died there. I wasn't paying attention because yeah. he designed this. So. Yeah, no, really nice. So it's a very handy skill to have uh, yeah. when making oh. your own games. You have to jump from the bottom, I guess. Oh, oh Ooh, my, my God. Oh my goodness, that was, that was awfully tight. Really close. trying to press quietly now i mean like, <laughs> you can't it's, it's you like can't really really noisy yeah. <laughs> that's as quiet as i can make it yeah it's just very very noisy it's a very large heavy controller with very noisy oh buttons my God, that's so close because you're avoiding two when you're yes. jumping there's yeah because of the one angle. before and one after of the eyeball i think he put a a, a blue top to the water on this yeah i think you, you might be right there yeah or it might have been there all along i don't know and he's just okay now i know the secret on this you have to press up and jump of course you get really close to this. <gasps> oh no oh my god touchy touchy you have to be right at the top yeah. go go as high as you can be over one that's the problem there we go there you go ah terrible death <laughs> cthulhu or dr bob okay. yeah the wasabi seaweed level <laughs> mm, wasabi the, the graphics in this are so so well done and he's really mm. smart about keeping everything on its own levels oh he says i like to add uh, homage levels it was donkey kong in the last one Oh, the yeah. one with the thing, the barrel yeah. almost going down? Yeah, that's... Kong went in peril. Mm. Yeah, you can't control how high you jump, but you can control where you land yes, when you jump. Yes, very... Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of control in the air. Whoa. It's not like one of these where the angle that you take off on just dictates Whoa, where you land. so old school and terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. <laughs> I'm glad that went away. Even though it's unrealistic. But when were video games realistic? Certainly not this area. <laughs> no. Not in the 2600. No, not in the 80s and 70s. No. Okay, I'm going to go across because that... That seemed going to work better. Yeah. It was just too hard, and you can get caught on platforms, so. Mm -hmm. But you do have to jump over twice. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, slippy. Mm -hmm. It just kept going. <laughs> I don't know why. What's this? Roboto? Roberta? This Roberto. It's... Oh, don't run oh. into Roberto. The joystick is misbehaving. Oh no. That's the second time it's pulled to the right, pulled to the left. A little? Yeah. It's not good. Mm. You have any alternatives? Mm. Nothing I'd like to do right now, but... No. No, it's making me really worried. There you go. You smushed them good. I lost lives when I didn't <laughs> need to! Oh my god. What am I doing? I don't know. 
getting fast and loose with your yep. <laughs> with your plan there. Earthquakes going on in this. Oh, I can't do it anymore. There's earthquakes in this room. Okay. Oh, guns. the shooter, the shooters aren't too bad, but there's a lot of them. Oh, oh my god! Oh yeah, you have to hit him square on the head. Oh, I think you right up to the you edge. Have to, yeah, you do. There, yeah. Oh my oh, god, what is happening? And loose. Yeah. Last one. There you go. Oh no, one more. And I'm in the exact same position Ooh, I was back in before. Back to one heart. Oh. And I'm not even close yet. I have to go through this. A little jumpy there. Ooh. No other hearts? Love how the background goes dark when the bolts are active. Yeah. That is one of... There's another level with it. Yeah. It's one of my favorite mechanics of this game just so something you don't think yeah think about is there any hearts down there is that a secret level if i fall down there uh or you die <laughs> most likely die but you never know some games are like so, that it's yeah. a whole yeah. room of hearts yeah but you're not in a position unfortunately <laughs> to sacrifice a heart to see no. if there's anything there not that's what i'm doing on the way on the way you go back and for sure, there's no... That may not be true, because... You have to run into it, don't you? Or... No. Because it wasn't... It was behaving, misbehaving before. No. No. no the, that's too too obvious. If you do it twice, right? I will not reveal more secrets. No, don't, <laughs> don't. It's up, to, it's up to him to figure out, so... Or for us, I should yeah. say. I want to fall down there, but I won't. Mm -hmm. uh, that looks, doesn't it? Like, why is it open there, but not there? Uh, there are a lot of holes that <laughs> kill you, so. True. It's quite a quite a risk to take. Are there really? Yeah, I guess there are. Like, like this? It's yeah. one gigantic hole. Yeah, that's true. Is there hearts down there? <laughs> <laughs> Let's fall down every hole and find out. <laughs> yeah, I was making a bigger deal about that guy than, than I should be, I guess. I guess it was not not too bad. I guess he's hard if you don't know what. <laughs> I've searched everywhere for hearts already last time, right? Because I was in the same spot. I'm sure you haven't searched everywhere. No. Run into the wall? Yeah, no. Down below? No. Hmm. Hearts in this block here? Hearts over here? Hearts there? Hearts? <laughs> 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 shows a Atari base could be used for great stuff oh my god yes there's another incredible platformer made with Atari basic as well mm. pinky the panda you remember that long long playthrough mm -hmm. panky the panda panky. pinky yeah that was a torturous game that one's not linear that you can go all over the place you can even play it in yeah different yeah. Things in different orders. Yeah. I think I looked everywhere I think except you did for here. over there, but that's a little yeah, dangerous think, jumping down. I think you did actually trap her. Ooh, the hand. So, yeah, yep. That's it's what time. it is. It's yeah. when the hand's up, you have to make sure you're not there. Pattern of six. Mm -hmm. So if you can count them and time it right, then you're good. I'm going to try out my theory mm. of just staying on the left. Mm. It's harder to time the landing, though. But you're still safe. Not really. If you time it wrong, he smushes you into the corner. <laughs> so you're not landing on them at all. I, it, it is actually harder. 
Mm. Because you can you can move yourself in the air if you stay in one position. You have to time it absolutely perfectly. Mm. And if you're off, he'll kill you. Mm. I would not do that. You're not being... There you go. True. That's if you do it too early, yeah. If I memorize exactly where it is, just after middle. Oh. Nope. Nope. Hearts! Please. Try at the bottom, sliding to both the bottoms. Hearts. Maybe. Nope. Hearts. 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 In the middle. Invisible blocks, like in Mario. <laughs> no. No. No invisible blocks. Here's your favorite. And I have one life. Yeah. Hearts. Hearts. <laughs> Now, did I, I did land on it, but I just didn't you duck. You didn't duck. So it wasn't the landing on it's it. It's tough. When you land, make sure you're not pushing left or right, because it'll slide right off. problem. I was ducking, and I slid left. Mmm! <laughs> it's not a short game. No. Can see why, why you here. cheated and and to so you could see the the later levels so yes and the last time you played we're here to beat the game <laughs> and to see the new graphics on the later levels mm -hmm. No, I actually think it's harder. It is, because you still ways. have to time it. Hard. Yeah, you still have nice. to time it really well. And if you land too early, you will get killed. Slide, slide, slide into the next screen. So you're saying I can make a crap game for premium prices? <laughs> People have done a lot of those. What you do is make a garbage game, give it a good title, a good cartridge label, make 10 of them, and sell them for $100 each. <laughs> and that's been done many times. And you go, it's limited. It's a limited game. <laughs> One out of 10 signed copies. And get bonus points if you uh, make it a from something from a copyrighted material. <laughs> Desert Bus is a deliberately bad game with limited release to drive demand. Mm. Well, the original Desert Bus was never released. Um, and actually, it was made by Dan Kitchen. Desert Bus. Oh, the original. You know about Desert Bus? No, I do not. It was not. on the Sega. Okay. And it was made by um, Penn and Teller. Oh, yeah. No, no. You did tell me about that game. You just ride a bus, don't you? For You drive a bus. Yeah. From LA to Vegas? Yeah. To Reno. To Reno. To Reno. Um, and it was in response to that video games are violent. All video <laughs> games are violent. Okay. So... They made out to. They made a game that's like the most non-violent game ever. It's just boring driving a bus for two hours or something. No, it's like seven hours. Seven? Is that the distance between uh, LA and Reno? <laughs> yeah, like so, I, I may not get the like maybe San Francisco and Reno or okay. something like sure. that. Sure. Um, and so they made it. The game never came out, but it was eventually released. Mm -hmm. It was found and released. Um. That you're literally driving a bus mm. at the speed limit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's super boring, um, but also it's a straight road. It never turns. Mm. Um, but your bus slightly veers to the right, the steering. Mm. So you can't just let let go of the the joystick and just leave it driving in a straight line. 
You have I to adjust it, it just, just a little, a little bit. bit so you don't run off the road. Yeah. Oh, three. Yay. That means I'm doing better. <laughs> so far. But it doesn't matter from here on out because there are no more hearts that I found. Um, so there's um, a desert bus marathon to raise money every year. Oh, yeah. Where people take turns driving the bus. Oh, okay. It's not just one person. Yeah. So I think they'd go insane. Ground, uh, was it ground trip? Yeah. Was saying the Atari 2600 version, you drive from Tucson to Vegas and back. Tucson. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So there was, yeah, 2600 version made of it. And during the game, mm -hmm. one bug hits your windshield. And there are windshield wipers you can turn on. Okay. So you can get rid of the bug. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. That is funny. And then when you make it to Reno or Tucson or wherever it is. Oh. There you go. Um, you get a point. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the only point you get the whole game? And then it asks you if you want to... Um, <gasps> yay! It asks you if you want to go turn around and do it again for another point. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> so it's kind of tongue-in-cheek. It's like, yeah, we can make non-violent games. We're going to make them really boring now. Slide! Nice. But it's really funny because I met the guy who made the game. Right? Mm. We know him, Dan Kitchen. Mm. And the the person who is part of that marathon we know as well. We've met. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. One of the people. That's funny. He puts on the local chiptune thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's friends of yours. You've known him a long time, right? Acquaintance. Acquaintance for a while. <laughs> I wouldn't say friend. Well, I you've known him. You've known him. You've known him for a long time. Long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Decades. Yes. Decades. Yeah. Yeah, that might be. That one's very tricky because you have to jump before. Yeah. Um, and they stop in very uh, difficult positions. Do you like those? Do you like those meteors? <laughs> I love the, fire the flaming balls. meteors. Ah, oh, run, run, run! Nope. You can't do that. Oh, you can stand here. It's safe. Is there hearts here? Doesn't that look suspicious? Looks suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah! My foot got caught. Ah! <laughs> You're having troubles. Ah! Just being really careful. Oof. Jeez. Donkey Kong. Gone. Still Smoosh. looks like the big gingerbread man Smoosh. guy. I like these. Yeah, they're beautiful design. That one went through my head, for sure. <laughs> that was very, very close. Hey, Arena Foot. Hello. The first game I played that messed with your mind was The Prisoner on Apple II. I am not familiar with that game. I assume that's from the TV show. Probably. But, I mean, it's a fairly generic name, but it's The Prisoner, so... There's probably a good chance that it's... Nope. 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 Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Now it's tricky because it's right up against that guy. Mm -hmm. The good thing about playing this game over and over again is that every screen is very different and you don't get bored with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I died. Now I have to shoot 5,000 things that look exactly the same over and over again. Oh, my God. Um, that um, to get to where I got. Yeah. Yeah, this one is like... It's totally fine playing it over and over again because it's really, really fun. It's a varied... Well, every screen's different. It totally has a different, different little puzzle or a different platform or yeah. different timing involved. So you come back to that screen later. Yes, you do across the top, which is great yeah. that they, they interact, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a one-off. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what are these green guys? Yeah, the little fi fishy. Are they fish? Are they sharks? Are they supposed to be like green sharks? 
And drain, drain. I like them. Yep. Kind of like green sharks. And just the animation of everything. It's not like the water going yeah, down. It's yeah. just unbelievable. It's great. So Peril. Oh my god! Sorry. That's the one with the helicopter, right? Yes, yes. which is the sequel to this. Yes. Which we found out last time. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really good game too. Oh my god, yeah. It's like this, except similar with each screen. It just pulled to the left. Did ah! it? Joystick! I've got to open this one up. Yeah. So I can't have that happening. He's like, gonna pause the stream, grab some screwdrivers, crack it open. Because you have a second one, right? But that one's not it's working. Broken. Yeah. yeah, the other one's broken. Some of the directions aren't working. Oh no, that's not good. He's Seem to fail, unfortunately. Well, you've been using them a lot. Yeah. We have been using them a lot. Yeah. So. Many, many hours. Yeah. No, oh, these dudes. I was just very careless last time. Yeah, you were. <laughs> very careless. Yeah. You were being a little quick. Yeah. I think because you were trying to get to the end, sometimes I you was. get you get anxious and you want to kind of get there. I was rushing. There. And I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm down one life already here. Yeah. Which is not good. That's what you nice. need to do. Is jump, Good jump. Good job. Is there lives here? Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not willing to risk dying. No. For finding, maybe finding a life. I want to say you've tried falling down that hole before. But... Hello, Scud Hudson Hall. Yes. <laughs> He's Scud Hudson Hall. Hello. <laughs> Scott of the Hall. Scott of the Hall? No. Oh, Scott. Scott of the Hall. And then he says, Hello, oh, I'm Scott Hudson Hall. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, we can't <laughs> read. Reading and, and playing games is, is hard at the same Bad time. combo. Yeah. Luckily, this isn't like a 100% action game. Like, there's pauses. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're you not getting stay, attacked the moment zones. you enter a room. Yeah. It's not like that damn duck. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, um, death, instant death. Yeah. What, what is was that? that? Duck, uh, I don't know. Duck, with duck, a duck attack. Duck attack. Is it duck attack? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> with the gigantic mallards. I love them. But they just come out of nowhere. And they kill you immediately. Immediately. <laughs> uh. Hi. Hi. Meow, meow. Yes, okay. Enthusiastic. There's no cats here. Yeah, where are the cats? Let me find a cat. I also want to find some chocolate. I'm oh, chocolate. no. I'll just make a mess of myself, though. Yeah? Chocolate all over your clothes? <laughs> She's got a big bag of chocolate. I bet she does. I bet she has some chocolate. Duck attack. So it was right. Yeah. yeah I had trouble with that slimy thing before. Ooh, I guess that's tricky if you accidentally catch your head on that and flip it while trying to get back. Hope she brings Atari. Atari's the well-behaved cat. Pixel's the trouble. Sometimes he's behaved. No cat? No. No. Okay. He's under. I think they're both under the oh, assumption. Atari. They think I might have treats oh, in my hand. No. But they're actually treats they for are me. They're definitely under the assumption. <laughs> of that. It's that face. Hi. It's not cat treats. I'm so sorry. The ceiling seems to jump. The change the jump arc. Yes, it does. Yeah. If you hit the ceiling, it like limits okay, it. Okay, like, I'll bring you down some treats because I feel bad now. So it it looks like it's pretty much the same arc. It just chops off the arc. You're still you're still are you're still moving in the same amount of move. Um, pixels because you control the horizontal and the vertical um how far you move in a given you know second or pixel so yeah if you hit the ceiling you're coming back down so you have to keep that in mind <sighs> you did get them treats no. we've never done that on the show have we? no we actually haven't hi Maybe we have, but not very often. You, treat? you have to throw it on the cat cam. Just... 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, where's Pixel? Atari's eating all your treats. I've Pixel. got that mastered, the hand part. Where is he? It's the frog. Yep, I guess that is a frog. And those little spikes coming down are tricky too, because you can't go right away when they go up. Excellent. Medium. Up, up, medium, Pixel. medium, low, low, up. Medium, low, Please. low, up. Medium, medium, low, low, up. Medium, medium low, low, up. <sighs> it's the frog, not a shooter. What? Yeah, you have to kind of stay here, but then aim with him. That's probably a good way to do it. I mean, I'm making it harder than it looks. There we go. Oh, Pixel. <laughs> Did he get any? We got a couple. He lets Atari get them. I know he does. He defers his food to Atari, mostly. Which is bad, which is why he's so skinny. Atari is a little chonky. chonky. Chonky cat. A little chonky. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. There we go. You didn't get any? No, no, no. I gave oh, him okay, some. Good. He got some. <laughs> no, that's That's so one sad. way to keep the cats in the room. Okay, I'm here with five hearts. Five attempts. Yeah. Five hearts. All right. Pixel. I knew a cat named Tab Stop. Tab, tab Stop. <laughs> it's a tabby, of course. Yeah. Yes. Okay, ready for pain? Okay, here we go. Oh, you might be able to fall on it, but I think that would be. Oh. <gasps> oh no! But you get a reprieve. You get to try again because. Mm -hmm. No, no, sweetie, these are my treats, not yours. Oh my god! No, no I'm sorry. Ah, I made it. <laughs> Hearts, please. Oh no! You have to... What? It wasn't, it wasn't like this before. No, it? it's changed. Oh, no. You have to duck. I swear it wasn't like this And then like jump over. Before. But you just have to duck and yeah, jump over. Yeah, it's not as bad. You can go back down to the bottom if you... No, no, no. No, that's much harder. It's easier to fall on it? Yeah. Much easier to fall on it. Oh, interesting. <sighs> Want a chocolate? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Distract me. Wait. One second. I have to go over here. It's that's safe. okay. We're safe. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Do that again. Up into that. Oh! Oh, caught. I remember I died last time doing that too. Mm. And where do I go now? Um, oh, up. This. There's a button, right? No. No? Looks like a button. Oh! <gasps> Mega heart. Oh, good. Oh, I needed that. Nice. Do I go to the right here? Sweetie, no. Guessing I do. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, I think I'm at the boss. Mm hmm. Because you have a mega heart. But the mega heart only gave me one. Two. Two. I think you gave me two. Why not three? Mm -hmm. One more chocolate for the, for the boss for the battle. Boss? One more. I need it, because it didn't give me three hearts. <laughs> okay. Very Mega Man-esque. Where you run down a hall mm. before you get to the boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Oh, no. I remember this being torturously hard. You got five hearts? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is Portal. What's Portal? It is Portal. Is that a Portal? You oh, walk through a yeah. Portal. Okay, I completely forget. It does look like Seamus, even though I've never played the game that Seamus is in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Seamus looks like. Um, I know you jump on his head, but I can't remember how to defeat him. You can obviously jump over the bullet. I you, think have that's to, what you have to because do. you have nowhere to hide, so you have to dodge him, right? I think once you're off this platform, it's it's it's, it's, it's time to full go full on. Yeah, yeah. pain. Yeah. 
Hopefully he goes to the other side, and then you have to... I can't remember. You can slide under the bullets. That's it. Mm, you can duck. Okay, isn't the five lives? No, six is max. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it six? Six, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Six is max. Slide and jump. It's not so hard. <laughs> slide and jump. Okay. Oh, do you have to slide under him? Yeah. Oh, not under him, just the bullets, I think. Okay. Oh, oh. Jesus. Slide. Oh, slide. Okay, when you hit him, that thing comes up that you have to jump over. Okay. Okay, not so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I remember it not being bad. Oh, you've got a cute okay. pixel there right now. Oh, loafing. You've got a loafy black and white cat on the um, cat cam. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you have to jump and duck immediately. Jump, duck immediately. Mm. Yeah, okay. But until you figure that out, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. You're actually good in that corner because the thing comes up and down. Exactly. It's the same pattern. Yeah. Actually, you're... You're almost safe from it. But, I mean, it's good to... Safe. It's good to just be careful. You are yeah, safe. You are safe from it. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Does that count for both corners? Fuchsia Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, a, he's a bit more red, but... Oh, you are safe. VH that see. Come on. <laughs> That's too easy. It should probably go up and down, but you should never be safe. Like, it should always be... Or you've, you've, you've just found or, the trick, too. Yeah, maybe. Oh, did I win? With five lives? What are those things? I want them. Blood. <laughs> Yay, let's do a dance. I don't know if that's the end. He seems like the end. <laughs> well, you have to go through the door. Do, 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 slide, slide. Do the slide. <laughs> and there, the everybody, peril is the peril helicopter Lovely. that takes you to the next game. Nice. Which he hasn't completed yet. Mm. I mean, he's done. I don't know if he's done. Mm. But he's done a lot of levels on it. Ready to take off from the helicopter? Let's get in. Nice. Nice little animation. Nice. It's so good. Well done. With five lives. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. I knew last time playing it, mm. when we were cheating, <laughs> that it was like, it's not too bad. It's not too far out of the realm of being yeah. doable, which is really what you want with a yeah. game, like a platformer. So. Well done. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. And the game has crashed. No. <laughs> now it's your turn to play. No. no. <laughs> we can move on. I'm yeah. not going to do nearly as well as you. So. Very so, nice ending BH stream. So, Incredible, incredible game. Um, hold the button. Um, uh, nice ending screen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Break dancing. <laughs> and also, uh, VHZC has restarted on one of his games mm -hmm. that he was working on recent, a uh, little while ago, called I Ran. It's an endless runner. Mm. And he just released some new video of it. Um, Did we today? play that? Yesterday. We played it a yeah, little bit. I, uh... But he's reskinned the whole thing again. He oh, likes, wow. Likes, he likes updating graphics. Updating he's, the, the he's visuals. He's done that on Peril as well. Yeah. But I think That's he's... Cool. He wanted a, um, a cohesive aesthetic for mm. Peril and um, Ninja Sky mm. so that they kind of connect better uh, to each other because they are sequels because mm. Ninja Sky is in the helicopter in Peril. Mm. Um, so, very, very cool. Um, he has not released a binary for the new Iran, but uh, he is working on it. So, very, very cool. And th Thank you very, very much for making that game. 7199. And it's not too bad of a score. I didn't find all the bonus stuff. I'm sure there's more. Hearts. You said this based on time, so you can replay it for a better, better oh. score. So you, your score goes up every screen, I'm guessing, depending on how quickly you complete it. I was it. pausing and talking quite a bit through it's the fine. game. So there's a lot of room for improvement yeah. in the score there. Very cool. But not too bad. And you got to find all the hearts you're missing as well. Yeah, so. if you keep six hearts all the gems are bonus um bonus scores mm. so if you don't die you get even a higher score mm. of course um 
So we're going to be playing next Shattered Earth uh, 2020 Work in Progress by Rick Pryor, a.k.a. Keru Yojimbo. Um, this was first posted, and this build is from April 26th, 2020. So only three days ago. Hmm. So let's get that started. And I love, love, love the aesthetic of this mm. game and so much so that i put a, a little bit extra work into my fake cartridge yeah i um, like your font very nice very i found nice. a great font for it did a little bit of kind of punch out of mm. the font so you kind of it's kind of three-dimensional mm. um anyway it's a 4k game other games uh kiro yojimbo has made a uh, very galactopus christmas death voyage fear gold quest atari box world Galactopus, Miss Galactopus, Galactopus, which I love Miss Galactopus. Mm -hmm. It's a great shooter. Mm -hmm. um, Shattered Earth, Sky Destroyer, and T-Rex Simulator. And this is available in the Atari Age forums. It is just kind of the first iteration. Of iteration. It. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. But it does have... You can play it and win it. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, you have a timer? Oh. <laughs> yes, you do have a timer. I forgot. Mm -hmm. There is a timer in the bottom. Um, oh, it's going down. So you will. I you will have to. Replay uh, yeah, that's, it. that's fine. fine. That's fine. I, I didn't realize the timer had started. So. So. Yeah. What you you probably just want to die crash. No, I'll just I'll just let it sit. You tell me how. So this the basics works. are: you have to collect four guys. Okay. And get to your spaceship or your okay. final destination. I'll read it out because okay. I haven't read the the story yet. Okay. For it. Um, but yeah, just uh, crash and then start playing. Anyway, so so go search for your guys. What am I searching for? Press button. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to make old man noise every time I have to press a reset on any new homebrew game. Oh, I see. Go get that guy. Go get him. Get him. Oh. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to just pick them up? Yeah, just pick them up. Oh, that's not... Oh, it's a maze. Um, Okay, I was on my way back from Cooper Belt Run when it happened. June 27th, 2248. 2215 Solar Standard Time. One second the Earth was there. The next it wasn't. The official story is that the planet was destroyed by hostile invaders from the Rigel system. Now I'm not saying that's a cover-up. I'm just saying it's mighty convenient that anyone who could prove that there weren't any Rigelin... Rigelin? Rigelin? Rigelin ships within three light years of here is dead. Rylian? Rylian? G is silent? Sometimes. Rylian? Yeah, it probably is. My name is Dex Nebula. Oh, max power. <laughs> <laughs> I fly a supply ship. I'm pretty good at it. That's why what's left of EarthGov hired me to search for survivors. Bunch of poor bastards who weren't killed instantly are now drifting through the rubble, <laughs> waiting for their life support. <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. <laughs> Waiting for their life support suits to crap out. Unless, <laughs> what is happening? Trying to get him. Oh no, he's gone. There we go. They do bounce off the screen, so they come oh, back. They go through the... Uh, they're very much like a, a... Restart? A DVD. Yeah. <laughs> old man. Yeah, I'm going to make old man noises. Every time you have to do it. Everybody who may, is a developer, <laughs> make the button the reset, please. <laughs> right into it. Ah, you don't lose... Do you lose lives? Uh, I don't There's no lives. Maybe you lose time? Maybe time. Yeah. Um, and now drifting through the rubble, waiting for their life support suits to crap out. Unless I can find them and get, get them to a space station before that happens. Space and obviously station. they are um, not able to see or hear you. Because they run in a different direction. Oh, they're floating in space, right? No, they're... Oh, they are drifting. Oh, that's they're why they're, they're floating bouncing in space. around. Okay, oh. careful. Is it pulling to the left? It, it did a little bit there. There is a problem with the joystick. Yeah, it's not terrible, but... Yeah, it just connects and doesn't unconnect. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> being, <laughs> being a little... Pushing on a little yeah. too hard. Shattered Earth is a game I've been working on over the weekend while taking a break from another project. Mm. The goal is to fly your ship through the constantly shifting remains of Earth. Collect four survivors and take them to the four. relative safety of the space station. Where's the space station? The space station will be cloaked. There's always a chance the Rylians? Rylians. Mm, that's a different thing. Okay. Uh, could come back Raelians. to finish the job. <laughs> that's an actual group. Yeah. 
it's, it's, <laughs> You're it's, a, right. it's a cult. Yes. Sex cult. Uh, um, sex cult? I thought they were just a cult cult. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't think they're. I've met them. Said. You've met them? <laughs> <laughs> I've interviewed them. Oh, really? Way back in 2000. Oh, that's funny. Um, twice, actually. Twice? Yeah. Oh. Did a little uh, video piece on them. Um, assuming they are ever really here to begin with, until you found four survivors, when you successfully dock with the station, you'll get a bonus and move on to the next level, which is just the first level again because I haven't added any other levels yet. <laughs> Use the joystick to control your ship. The fire button launches a photon blast in the direction you're moving, what? or the last direction you moved if you're sitting still. But there's nothing to shoot at yet, so there's not much point. Gotcha. Uh, for now, the game is just a race against time that doesn't get any harder. But like I said, it's I just started working on it yesterday. Oh mm. my god. This is one day's work? This nice. Is really, really good. Uh, Rigel is one of the stars in, in Orion. So, is it pronounced Rigel? Rigel? So it would be Rigelins? Rigelins? Rigelins. That sounds bad. It sounds wrong. Rigelins? Rigelins. Rigelins? 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 <laughs> Rigelins. It's not Rigel, is it? Rigel. Scott, do you need to leave? <laughs> Chat? <laughs> talking talking nonsense there. <laughs> Lots of highs. Lots of H's. Maybe you're just enthusiastic. Um, so this is... I love the aesthetic of this. Yeah. The 1950s black and white UFO kind of thing. Yep. Oh, ran out of time. I, I don't know where the uh, space station is. Um... If you go one direction and then back, it changes completely. So I think every... I go back. Sometimes they're stationary, sometimes oh. they're not. Oh. <laughs> that was an easy one. Yeah. But like if you go back and forth between two screens... Yeah, they, they change. It there's changes. not one set. There's not one set Every path. screen is just random. It's random. With the path you came from as an open... Oh, I've got four. So then where's the space station? It's random. Oh, so you random. just keep running around. Yeah, that's kind of a fault of the game mm. that it doesn't have a map built in mm -hmm. because there's no point in ever going in any particular direction. Yeah, you're not memorizing where you've been. So... Here it is. Yay! Yay! Bonus! Success! 52, 50. 6,000 points! Yay! Yes, it's based on yeah, I like the style of it, though. It's very simple. I've always heard it pronounced Rigel. Oh, yeah, Rigel. 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 So it'd be Rigelins? Rigelins. That sounds wrong. Rigelins. Maybe the ship Rigelins. Uh, could should be luminosity cycling for cool effect. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So it gives that little flare. Yeah. Or it could be gray to white. Yeah. And keep it black and white. I like the black and white. It has an, a certain aesthetic to it, which is neat. Yeah, and yeah. I love the blocks. What kind of look is that what is that era of art i mean i, I don't know of, about era of art i i'm i'm no but, art but, historian um but can, or artist really but, but uh, i know like that is a sort thing, of a mondrian right? look to it without the color but uh, not really yeah because that's more that's more lines so yeah but, i like it though i like it though it's like a, a real minimalistic breaking it down kind of look and i, I like thought that. i could cheese the game by doing this but yeah. you can't no the guys never show up when you do this. Oh, really? Even though the <laughs> patterns change. Because I was like, oh, they're random no matter what screen you go to. But the guys are like, he knows that you're going to do that. So we built that in to, nice. so you don't do that. Interesting. Running out of time. Yep. Shoot, shoot, shoot everything. You can't actually shoot the guys. <laughs> you can't so I'm shoot gonna run out of right But, unf for, oh, God. And dead. Yeah. I still got 6,500 points. Oh, the, I'm continuing your game? Oh, I think it was continuing no, your game. No, no, no. That was yours, I think. Get back here. Or but, maybe that was the high score at the end. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But so the problem with it being a random maze is that you may never run into the guy in time. Yeah. Or you might run into four, like, really quick. It, it is random. <laughs> or you may not find the ship. There you go very quickly either well yeah it's kind of like you just keep going okay i'm just gonna go in this direction and then oh yeah. maybe i'll turn left 
Yeah. But still, this is like something someone it's worked the, on for a day. One day, yeah. And it has already its own kind of it's, simple aesthetic, which it's is kind of neat. But beautiful. Uh, it's feature yeah. complete. Like you can finish the game. Yeah. So yeah. for one day. Yeah. If this was like entered into a contest. For it, one day, one day for programming. One day program, <laughs> it would probably do really well yeah. because. Yeah, that's kind of It's neat. got everything you need. Yeah. Simple. So, very simple. So I think you need things to shoot because they're they have to yeah. get in your way yeah right um the timer definitely needs to be longer if there's going to be things to not shoot. necessarily i think you want it to be like, you want it to be fast I've just been searching for the ship i'm probably going to die before yep. i find the ship there, there we you go. go just in time there you go the map is uh is a grid just the layout of the debris changes Really? No, because um, nope. Look, I go back and forth, and the map changes. The map changes. So like the debris shifts around, so your oh, path changes. You mean each time I go onto a new screen? Oh, so you're saying this is a set grid? Are you the programmer? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a set grid, but that's not even true, because. When I encounter the next guy, I'm going to show you. There's the guy. I go away. I go back. Oh, wait. He, the guy's oh, still he on there. there. Oh. So it is a set. I thought he disappeared before. Mm, no, only when you when you um, crash into something, then they disappear. So it's like should I? Depending interesting. on... Interesting. So I should just go left, up, down, and continue going left. Like, go like this, and then over, and then down. For, ah, okay. Well, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then I go down. So, so there are only over. a certain number of screens, and you want to search yes. all of them, is what you're saying. That yeah. makes sense. There, that's faster. See, that's why I was not finding anything because I was just going straight, yeah. straight, straight. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so. Yes, that's Rick. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, ten speed. Ah. Yep. Welcome. You would know. <laughs> yep. As the developer like of the game, yeah. you would know. Yeah. So that makes a lot more sense. Yep. So the the debris is ever shifting. Yeah, that's neat. Now, as a very difficult programming exercise, you could like literally make it shift. Like the blocks could go. Would that clutter up the screen or? It may be too cluttery. Yeah. It may turn into like asteroids, hmm. and it would lose its feel because then you wouldn't see. Now it's now it's a lot easier. <laughs> now that I know that is an actual grid. Mm. Oh. This time, I'm going to figure out how big the grid is. Can you? Yes. Well, doesn't it wrap? Yes, but I, that's fine. Because then I'll know. I'll find the ship at the end, right? Mm. And then I will remember how many down or up I do. Oh. And then wrap dudes. around. I do have to get the dudes first. Unless he tells us, <laughs> which he may. Or the, the um, grid may expand. Because he literally only needs to keep track of where the four guys are mm. and where the ship is. So that's only four locations and your ship. Because the screen... Oh, I almost touched it. Okay, so there it is. Yeah. Oh, I have to move over one. It's one down, two down, three down. You're going back to it? Up? Uh, oh, actually, I can what do this. Doing? What I can do... Up there. Yeah, it's still yeah. there. But I want to know how many. That's one, huh? two, three, four. four. So it's four by one, two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four. Uh, okay. okay, okay. So there you go. Nice. I almost died. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have finished finished the game. <laughs> very very cool start. Yeah, it's so a neat start. Yeah. You need to add some things that get in your way. Yeah. Like other flying ships that shoot at you. Yeah. Um, well, he mentioned that that's something he's planning. So the that's floating cool. guys, they're fine. I don't know what you could do more about those because you like do the, have to wait for them to get out of the debris. I like the fact that they they have random movement and sometimes yeah. they go into the debris and it's like um, then you you're like them. oh I can't, you, you kind of have, have to follow them almost. I, do they follow from screen to screen? No, they yeah. stay on the screen. 
I'll, I'll show you one. Hopefully it's bouncing diagonally. It's yeah. really funny because it reminds me of The Office. Uh, okay, what I can get them to do is bounce. Oh, that will go. Well, oh, they're beside each other. Come on. Start about There we go. Okay, hit the corner. Hit the corner. Oh. Oh. It's like <laughs> a screensaver. Watching, watching the screensaver. The screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it going to hit the corner this time? No. It's coming close. Oh. 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 Oh, it's coming right for you. No. This guy will never hit the corner because he kind of bounces off. <laughs> <laughs> Got those are cool. And the, the tiny little design yeah. is cool because it makes the game more detailed yeah. almost because everything's tiny. Yeah. Um, really, really cool. Lost in. <laughs> Looking forward Space. to sounds. Yes, yeah. yes. There you go. Excellent start. So I'm really looking forward to the progression on this game. And especially a title screen with the black and white title screen. Really mm -hmm. simple aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. You could probably do it all in a uh, play field. And just like really big characters. Mm. Really simple, simple font. Mm. Okay, so we're going to go to the last game of the day. Hold it. Uh, sorry, Whale Dive by Martin Vilkans, um, a.k.a. Vilkans, and he's not on Atari Age. And this is the one I was talking about where Scott Dayton posts in the Facebook group mm. um, games that sometimes people might miss. Nice, nice. Um, and this is one of them, and it was part of a contest. Yep, go for it. Part of a contest called the Ludum Dare Contest. And I think it's about a week long. Okay. We have a week to make a game. Okay. I don't know how they make sure you don't, you don't start beforehand. Yeah. Oh, no, they had themes. I think there's the, a so theme. So they don't you give you the from. theme until. It's very much like the 24 hour, 48 hour movie comp competitions. Seven day yeah. movie competitions where they mm -hmm. give you. You have to include this line. You have to include this prop. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And your theme is this. And yeah. they give a different one, like literally handed out to each person. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure what the theme was for this. It may reveal itself in the instructions. Mm -hmm. um, so this was first posted on April 20th. This build is from April 26th. I think their deadline was April 20th. It's a 4K game. Uh, it's the only game I've found that he's made. Um, you can download this from the Ludum Dare website. Um, it says Ludum Dare is an online event where games are made from scratch in a weekend. Oh, it, oh I guess it's only a couple days. Mm. Check us out every April and October. So this nice. is the April's inclusion. It was the only 2600 game because I wanted to see if... What any, kind of games? Is yeah. it what kind of games are usually in it? Any kind of game? Um, a lot of PC games. Okay. Um, made with whatever. Mm. Like environments that are made for making games. Yeah. I didn't look too far into mm. it, but you can make it any, with anything. Anything mm. you want. The up-down screens would be like going forward eight screens, similar to how the underground and pitfall moves you three screens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, should be able to make an 8x8 grid that has memory, doesn't shift, using the PRNG pseudo-random number generator like pitfall. Yes, there you go. Lots of helpful hints from the crowd. So there are three levels to whale dive, so mm. we'll go for level one. And they're not simple. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you kind of get two tries i think i think you get two tries oh. Oh. yeah two tries wow okay <laughs> before you kill your whale okay that's a lot of control right there i have not successfully com i played it for a tiny tiny bit just to try it out oh. successfully completed any level in one try i've done all of them in two tries but in never two? never in one but i i'm pretty oh, sure Lord. you can complete all of them in one a giant sperm whale was plummeting from the sky above an alien planet. A planet with strange constructions built by unknown creatures. Constructions of wood, metal, strange plastic-like substance that would prove lethal if a whale were to crash into them. But luckily, you're here to guide the whale in its fall. You and your joystick. You have to keep the whale alive. And that's straight out of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, Lord. This is a whale falling from yeah. space. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think it's a whale. Uh, no, it's not a whale. It was something else that gained sentience. No, it wasn't a whale. Oh. It was it was dolphins that left the planet. Yeah. 
But what was it that was falling? Was it a... a, f a so hard. Oh, what was it? Somebody can point it out. Petunias? Might have been petunias. I think it was a flower that gained sentience and then died when it hit the earth. Oh. <laughs> it had a brief period of senti sentience. Oh, yeah. I can't remember that. Oh, it's terrible. The Atari 2600, also known as the Atari VCS, which is confusing as there's a recent product with that name that uh, they say keeps is going to come out, but we don't speak of that product. Released in 1977, which was one of the first home consoles. This is a game for that Sword. platform. A game about a whale that you need to guide. Oh. Uh, so it avoids obstacles while it falls towards its home in the ocean. You cannot slow down, by the way. It no. just free falls. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're going faster and faster. I can't, I can't get past the first couple of screens, so you got through the levels? Well, in two hits. I can't. Come on. No! Just guide him. Guide him over. Is he mo oh, he's oh, moving too fast. Oh, a whale and a bowl of petunias. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not again. Is that like one of its first thoughts or last thoughts, I think? I think they both gained sentience. Oh, good job. You'll be able to do it now. Move over. What are you doing? No, I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. I thought <laughs> that was the first hit. You'll be able to do hit. it now. No. I thought that was the first hit. Crazy. Uh, oh, this is two. What? How did I end up on two? I must have upped it. Or it was being bad. Oh, well, um, you can see level two because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get there. Oh. Wrong choice. Oh, you chose wrong. <laughs> Uh, games like that, you know that you um, you do not need to play it twice, at least. Because if there's a path that you can't anticipate... I can't get over fast enough. You can. No, but I'm not. You're not, yes. No! Select the level with left and right on the joystick. There are three levels. To toggle difficulty uses the left... Dif oh, there's difficulty. To use the left difficulty switch on the console, F4 for a Java emulator said A... Set it to A or Expert for the original compo version. B or Novice for lower gravity and made the game easier. There we go. So that was the end of level one. Oh, you're on the hard level. That would explain why it's so hard. We'll do easy and then we'll go up to hard. Well, I'm, in, I'm in the water. Oh, now I'm in what? Did you die in the water or you fine in the I water? I know. I ended up in the water. Okay. It didn't go to the next level, though. No, it doesn't automatically. You pick it. Okay. Yeah. The whale should be able to flap its tail to slow down. Yeah, that would be nice. But only a little bit. Yeah. Then I wouldn't the die. detour thing was kind of a cheap death. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. But yeah, so you have to go to the right. Yeah. Oh, too far over. It's not quite as bad as <laughs> what's what's that game? Something X, where it's like you have to guide your spaceship through it. Oh. And it's like no room, and you can't move very fast. Yeah, you have to really get over there. Um, press the fire button to start. Make the whale go left and right with the joystick. If it's the, the water. If the whale hits something, uh, you get one more chance. But if it happens again, it's bye-bye whale. Cry. <laughs> you succeed if you manage to guide the whale, the whale all the way to the blue sea. Oh. So did you Getting succeed? Yeah, I did one and two. And two hits. That's not winning the yeah, game. That's okay. I'll die here. You want to play or should I do three? You should do three. Then okay. I'll do them all. It's not too bad. Did you change the difficulty? Yes, you oh. should be falling slower now. Yeah. I did one on the higher difficulty. I mean, eventually. Oh, I'm, I'm just not moving fast enough. Gotta anticipate. <laughs> you have to get out of the death zone. That's okay. I, I consider that death, so. Uh... Oh, very <laughs> difficult. I can't get out of the death zone. Needs a win animation when it gets into the water. Yes, like go down and then go up and go. <sighs> Exactly, Captain Classic. Yeah. Breach the surface and blow some water jets out of the blowhole. Oh, yeah. But he only made this in a weekend. That's made pretty three, impressive. Three yeah. levels in a weekend. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh cheap death. Cheap death. So it's to the right on both levels. But you made it pretty far, so. Oh, and then left. All Yay. Right. Yay. So it's to the right and then the left on uh, level three. <laughs> but he's a slightly injured whale. So, so you can still keep moving left and right as you go deeper and deeper. Pilot and X, Mark Space. Pilot X, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Yeah. That one's so hard. And they made it easy. And it easier for me. And it's <laughs> for still, you. For you. They did. Because I complained. 
<laughs> and it was still hard, but it was easy. They made the ship smaller, so yeah. you didn't hit as gotcha. much. It was still hard. Okay. This one doesn't have paths. This, this level just has... Um... Ah! ah. <laughs> Go to the right. It's not that easy. No. Just a little... It's all about that precise control <laughs> yeah. so let's try this again try and get in one and we'll go on expert and then mm -hmm. try and get in one come on yep you're in the water oh, oh. when you when you hit like um Bounces back. Critical velocity or whatever it's called. Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you hit terminal velocity, it's like... Oh, yeah. yeah, it's all over. <laughs> it's really fast whale. I mean, he is big. Oh. Oh, <laughs> fail. Nope, just start over. Just start over. Rage quit. <laughs> faster than getting to the end so oh my god come on whale just crash oh <laughs> come on i noticed there's the one in the screen right at the beginning yeah level one right yeah Oh, oh, I don't know. That's really hard. It is. It's the terminal velocity when <laughs> it's you're so getting. Fast. Yeah, so you're very close to the end when you're, you're going <sighs> that fast. I think you probably could do it in one. I think so. Yeah. Come on. It's too long. Should be able to reset quickly with the button. Ah. Oh made it through there before. Die, 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 die. It's one of these games where you know you can do it. Oh, <laughs> one last thing. One more, one I more. I was just too far over to the left. Yeah. Splish. I like, I like, I like it's kind of slow. But I do, I do think you should come back up and crest yeah. and something some little animation Flip would be very go cute up. yeah oh no yeah. not too ah so close i went too far over Splish. one more so close come on Noisy button. Work. <laughs> oh, the one there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. That. It says one right at the beginning. I didn't notice that because I was playing and worrying about my whale. Yay! Ramming into the to the wall. Oh, so. did it. Good job. Another game I wish you used paddle controller. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This game would be indeed a great paddle game. Ooh. Yeah, you'd have to be very precise. precise yeah. It might be harder-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's to the right. Yeah, you stick with the right, I find. Right, and then go up. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's a little tough. Keep going down. And then, though. what does it do? Middle, 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 I didn't middle. Find that's level, it. I didn't oh. find level two that hard. Level no. two is easier than level one. It is, actually, mm. which is unusual. unusual. I would definitely switch them. If um, yeah, he was still working on it. Yeah, which, which he, he... he did update it only a couple of days oh, ago. Oh, did he? After the competition. Oh, so. uh, oh yeah, because you said it was just in April. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, it so is. So it was neat. only a couple of days ago that he put this version out. Splash. That excellent. Completed. Woo! I would. I could imagine a sending note for each gate as you pass. Do, 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 yeah. 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 And 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 a big splashing and, noise at the end, and make yeah. the which notes they do have the faster splashing. too. It's like do, yeah, because he's he's accelerating. Yeah. So, so this one's right then left, or is it right then right? I think it's right then right. Yeah. There's an arrow as to where you should be going. Uh, no, right then left. Right then left. 
And I'll just see how yeah, much right, further it there. is. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty straightforward. I, I can do that. I can do that. Come on. Hurry up, whale. This part's a little challenging at the beginning because there's quite sharp turns. Oh, yeah, oh. that's that's rough. I didn't know it was that short. Oh! <laughs> it's yeah, faster. It is. Why does it change colors at different screens? Hmm. I mean, this... Just the pattern. Oh, my God. The patterns on the walls, you yeah. mean? Uh, just to keep it interesting. Yeah. I mean, they're crazy colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like pink walls. Oh, uh. no. I'm trying to cut it too close. I like the dimming as you as you die. Very, very nice. It's left immediately. Oh, oh not too far. I went too far and I would have made it. Yeah. Oh. I don't care. I have to do it, I have to do it in one. Do it in one. There are USB spinners? Are there? Are there paddles that are compatible with Stella? Really? USB spinners mm. that are compatible with Stella? Interesting. That's cool. That is cool. Splish! Yay! In one! Yay! Now the hard level. Oh, that was easy. That was the easy level. Let's see if it's that much harder. I'll just do three again because I'm already practiced at this one. Sure. So this one supposedly has faster or higher terminal velocity. Oh yeah, this is much faster. Oof. I don't know if I'll be able to do this faster vote mode. In one, you mean? Yeah, in one. Mm -hmm. I, I can do it in two. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because you slow down if yeah. you hit. It's like resetting. It's like, oh, yeah. Um. <sighs> it's much faster. Oh. <laughs> it's like he gets hit twice. Yeah. Well, he's he's stuck in the sides. <laughs> it's like he's stuck in the weeds. Poor whale. <laughs> oh. oh. A cheat? Ho oh. ho. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Almost. I nice thought there was going to be an open, it just goes open straight area. Down. Nope. Not so lucky. Oh. It's too fast? It's really fast. Really, really fast. I don't even think I can do it here. Yeah. It's it too could fast. Be, it could be the, the controller. If you had a different controller, maybe you'd, you'd move no. faster? No, you don't think so? Joystick's a joystick. It doesn't well, make a difference. You were making fun of me because I was saying I can't get over fast enough. Well, you have to cut it close. You have to... Yeah. But I was playing it on the hard. You so were, it was getting It was getting really fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it in two on the hard. <laughs> I don't think it's possible <laughs> unless you're a really good player. <laughs> Better than me, let's say. Mm. Let's see if I can remember this. What do you have to do here? It's it's very oh, tight here. It's <laughs> it's very, very tight here. Yeah, so I apologize for making fun of you. Because on the emulator I did do it, but I, I had I did, did it you? in two. Yeah, oh, okay. I did it in two. Because in the emulator, it's set to the easy mode automatically. Mm. This happened to be set to A for Yeah, some it is doable. Game. It's just this part in particular is very tight. <sighs> Getting through those tight spots there. And this is hard too, to be honest. It's, it's very mm. narrow. One is almost harder than two and three. That's my... April 29th. Oh, we just released a PAL version really? of Whale Dive. Oh, wow. There's now a PAL version. The NTC worked in Whale My TV, except the colors were wrong. The PAL uh, version fixes that since it runs at 50 as opposed to 60. 60. The game also runs a bit slower, which makes a big difference in uh, difficulty. Ah, so the PAL is easier. Thank you for the update, Arena. Nice. Good to know. I feel sad for this whale. <laughs> He's having trouble. He just keeps smacking into walls. It's a hard life for us. Oh, rough. Ah. Mm. I gotta make it through that. Uh, that's the part that I found the hardest. 
was getting you're through going that. Really fast yeah, at that point. You are. You can't slow down. You can't flap your your tail or. <laughs> Which I think give, would be give a little bit of uh, wind resistance. I was gonna say give it give it a little <laughs> helicopter effect, you know, so he slows himself down a little. I don't think that I can make it after this. Yeah, you can. I did it. I did it. No, once. I mean hitting that high that I did. No, you I think kind you have of to make it you through need that to first make part. that. Yeah, you need to make that. You just need to be, just know how narrow it is. <sighs> just know how narrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yay. In two. It's not going to happen in one. <laughs> not for me, anyway. Maybe for yeah. somebody out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe with a Sega Genesis controller. Sometimes they are easier, but... No, no, but the little guys. The little guys, I think, is what he's uh, referring to. Oops. Not level one. Level two. That's all I have left to do. One more. There. Yeah, I do have one over there, but I, I like this better. I, I can't think of a game where that would be... An advantage. Oh no, wrong way. Oh no. This is gotta go this way. <gasps> that is very fast. Yeah. I think I'm good now. Right? And then it's left again? Is it I think you just go straight oh. down. It's oh. very short. Two is very short. Well, let me try hard. two and one, one, but I don't think so. I think it just gets too fast. Yeah, yeah two is very just short the and the easiest of all of them, right? Yeah. Just get, you have to get oh, over very fast. The moment it opens up, you have to move over. Yeah, but there's that wall. And then this is not hard. Problem. Yeah, so, but but the moment the moment it comes up, you have to move we'll skirt over. Skirt the right then. Yeah. And then move over immediately. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Skirt the right. Neat. Yeah. Oh, you have to move over even further. The moment it breaks open, you the have to. The moment it breaks, yeah. You have okay. to get over. I have a feeling you can do it, though. I, maybe? You'll have to time it really well, like anticipate yeah. it. So you have to move right, then left, yeah. almost instantly. Oh, I don't know it's if it's hard. possible. It's hard. It's so fast. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, you've, you've done it, but yeah. Anyway, neat. Give it another go. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. I'm going to try one. Wow. Oh, now, now it's not. <laughs> now it's not possible in one. Not if you die. Okay. Oh, very close. Yeah. I don't know. Did I go too far to the right? Maybe. I think I just need to go a little bit. Just, I'm you just, just going to tap it a little need bit. need it over far enough to... Oops. Oh, wrong way. It's oh, okay. it doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Yeah! I felt like you could do that. I felt like, I felt like that was in, in range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you completed all of Ninja's, Ninja's Guy in Low, low Res Worlds. Yep. You Finished got all this on easy. The whales. I'm a beginner. Yep. One of Whale them on dive. expert. Yes. Um, and, and uh, how did we do on Shattered Earth? Well, that's just beginning. Very beginning but game. We both completed. But kind of a neat game. Yeah. We both completed. Liked it. Liked it. So Ninja Sky, super awesome. Yep. Awesome, awesome insta buy game. Yes. Because there's further challenge of completing the game without dying, mm -hmm. which I think is very possible. Mm-hmm. Um, just really challenging. Yeah. Um, nice game. I like, I love the look. Yeah, yeah. The, the whale dive was really great. Or maybe he's referring to Shattered Earth, but yeah. all of them actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but VHZC, yeah. uh, uh, Ninja Sky, awesome, awesome. Very, very good. Um, it's just such a great game. All, yeah. all the little, the characters in it and everything. Actually, great. I can't, can't wait. They're great. To see the box and the manual. Yeah. Because VHZC is an incredible artist. Yeah. And if, Judging by the cover art mm -hmm. on it, like take a look at this. Um, that ninja guy there. Mm. Um, that's the cover of the manual, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. I just morphed it into uh, yeah. a cartridge. It actually yeah. wasn't as wide as a cartridge, so I had to actually extend it a little in bit. Photoshop yeah. and use automatic fill. Yeah. And then pretty it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I do work behind the scenes to make it make it all work. Um, 
So I think that's the cover mm. of it. So that's going to look really, really awesome. And this, the manual, I'm sure is going to have artwork of some of the characters in the game. Because that's how old games were. You'd look at the manual and go, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. And then you look at the game and it's like, oh, it's all pixely. Yeah. But in your mind, you know it's supposed to be that. Yeah. The thing on the cover. And you're it's translating, just awesome and you're translating the pixels into something yeah. more, more. And um, Shattered Earth. and actual. Yeah. Unbelievable uh, aesthetic to it. Mm. Just clean, simple. It's simple. Yeah. It's very simple, but but and neat that someone just threw that together in a day. So I, yeah. I quite like that. Well, the manual's ready. Nice. Albert's correcting it now. Yeah. I have the design the box, so it's uh, getting close. It's getting, getting close. close. And I know close. there's a bunch of other games that are really close as well. Yeah. So I'm guessing he's kind of corralling them all together and going to be a big release because he usually doesn't release games one off. He does like six or seven or eight mm -hmm. all at once. Mm -hmm because it's cheaper for shipping for people to buy multiple games. And don't think there's any 7,800 games ready. Um, mm. Or 5,200, so probably just 2,600. But who knows? Who knows what's what's going on there? <laughs> um, Whale Dive, very fun game for mm -hmm. a single weekend of programming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Shattered Earth was one day programming. Whale Dive was and it's a some, weekend. Plus, sometimes things with just a nice simple mechanic, which is like, it's yeah. just dropping in space. Just it gets avoiding. faster and faster. You're avoiding is Those are sometimes the funnest games. Because we've played games you know, like that before. Yeah. But Whale Dive has just slightly different mechanics where you can hit and you get two and lives. And then you slow a little bit. And, and then, yeah. And then there's gravity and just accelerates. Yeah. Other games are like avoid, avoid, avoid. Yeah. And you say, stay the same speed. Yeah. So just yeah. little tweaks and a backstory really changes mm -hmm. things quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're a whale and you dive into the water and there's a goal and there's multiple levels. It's just really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, thanks, Dan, ABC. Thanks, Dan. Uh, good show today. Uh, Carl G says all the games today were definitely fun. Yeah, yes. there's always there's something to each of those games. Yeah. That's what I like, mm -hmm. having games on the show that have a, a thing. diversity of, of have a thing going yeah. for them yeah have something something yeah. fun everything's everything's beach at sea i loved whale dive yeah, yeah it's lots of lots of fun mm -hmm. so let's check out what's coming up in the roster of games um because i've got it filled out for a little while now which is good because a whole bunch of games came out that's excellent People are keeping busy in their yeah. isolation if they can. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe yeah. it's it's had an uptick in yeah. in uh, programming. So on uh, Sunday, uh, we are going to be playing Low Res Racer, a very early game of VHZC. Mm -hmm. If whether he likes us or not, wanting to, <laughs> it's yeah. it's an old game. Yeah, it's a very old yeah. game of VHZCs. Um, we're going to be playing Robot City, uh, which is. Uh, completed now. Nice. Um, he's done some updates to the controls. Oh, novice times, he says. Yes. <laughs> but we show your new one, show your old yeah, one. Yeah. I balance it out. Yeah. Uh, Robot City. Yeah, it's got. He's changed the mechanics. He, I gave him some suggestions on controls. So it had um, a mechanic where you can stay in one place and fire. Because when you stopped before, you couldn't fire. You oh, could I see. Only fire while when you're, you're moving. moving. Yes. Okay. So. He's got that working, so we're going to play the, the final version nice. of Robot City. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we're going to be playing Larry the Lemon nice. and uh, finishing off Millie and Molly, maybe. depending. Probably won't be finishing off because the levels get harder. Oh, I can't wait. So we made up to level 31, 30, 30 out of uh, 30. Yeah, 30. Out of 80? 30 out of 80. Yeah, so 50 more to go. Um. Yeah. No, not, uh, they haven't been particularly difficult. I mean, there were a few that were a bit more challenging, but um, no, I'm looking forward. Levels. 100? No, no, it wasn't 100. I thought it was 80. I yeah, thought it was we 80. We had the programmer in here, and he said it was... 80, I thought. But it doesn't no, matter. No, he's the programmer. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was 80. <laughs> he is the programmer. I love that. Uh, <laughs> um, Larry the Lemon will get a box release eventually. Oh, very, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, somebody mentioned I'm it somewhere. Somebody said... The sheep game is like Larry the Lemon. I'm mm -hmm. like, Larry the Lemon? I've never heard of that one. Then I dug up Larry the Lemon. It's like, oh, oh let's play that. All right. Excellent. Uh, April 27th, 2020 was a, one of the most busiest days for Atari 2600 <laughs> yeah, yeah. and updates that I've ever tracked. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, no wonder I've been able to fill it. Like, I, I filled it the <laughs> next four or five episodes. Excellent. Um, 100 levels. Oh, boy. Okay, well... We well, well we, we can get we'll give it a we shot. might not get through a hundred no. but we'll get through we'll try to get through another 30 i think yeah. that would be a very reasonable goal yep yeah. uh then on next wednesday we're gonna be playing bomb on pixel city uh legacy of the beast another one uh because this is the second adaption mm. uh and aardvark going for the top score trying to best thomas yench and try and get a a better score than i did before and beat thomas and beat him enough that he can't beat me. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and then next Sunday after that, we're going to be playing Alfred Challenge. And uh, haven't filled any other games in that. And Amoeba Jump, which is the first, is the third game in 2020 Harmony Games. Mm. And then after that, it's coming up closer and closer. Champ Games New Secret Homebrew <laughs> on May 13th. May 13th. Uh, that was me, the Larry comparison. Oh, thank you very much, Arena Foot, for making that comparison yes. so I knew about Larry the Lemon and we can play it. Yeah. Um, Packer VG was supposed to be released at MGC 2020. The box uh, shipment got delayed. It was to be worked on the packaging. Gotcha. Very cool. So mm. this will be a great uh, promotion for it. Just tell everybody that it'll be out and they can all take a look at yep. it. Yeah, excellent. Um, and then way, way, way down, we've got Amoeba Jump again. The, for the last day of 2020 Harmony Games number three, and then Galagon, I believe, is the last game of the 2020 Harmony Games. That's the fourth one. That's on uh, May, June 14th. So way ahead. Yep. Um, and I've been keeping track of all the games that have been coming out, and uh, tons of Atari 8-bit games. So we may play some of those in the future. Excellent. Yeah, a lot of completed and lots of work nice. in progress. Nice. Um, it's good to have choice. <laughs> yeah. And lots of choice there right now. 7,800 games, not too many, but a, a bunch few. of work in progress. None of them completed this year. Mm. they got to get them done so there'd be competition for the Homebrew Awards. Yeah. But if there aren't any, then we won't have the well, Homebrew Awards for, for 7,800. We'll adjust. Yeah. Um, so thank you everybody for joining us today. Lots of fun games. Uh, I want to thank, uh, oh, Bob's Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pro that'll be released. Yeah. That's really close, I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, good show. Thank you very much. Okay. So Dan AVC, thanks for joining us. MK Smith, Arena Foot, Pack Rat, VG. Metal Lunar 7. Metal Lunar 7. Uh, VHZC, thank you so much for yes. Ninja Sky and letting us play the yes. final version on the show. Such and a great game. We got it done. We finished it. Yeah. After th three tries. <laughs> he, he, but that's I okay. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, watched. Carl G, uh, Scott of the Hall, uh, uh, Mark, Mark Space. Space. Thank you so much. IS Post is in there. Oh, was there IS Post? Yeah. Oh, it's like I saw his name. Ah, too oh, fast. No. Too fast. Where was I? Yeah, yeah. He just, anyways. Okay, fine. good. Captain Classic. Captain Classic. Uh, Gretums. Hello, Gretums. Oh. Didn't see you. No. I saw your Jumped comments. Jumped in really quickly. Uh, anybody else up here? That must have been when I was playing. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. I, mi I, I, I missed Gretem's in there. And that's the uh... end. Oh, Gretem says yo. <laughs> One of my favorite Hello. games from Chris Chris Reed. Yes, I was um, I was very pleasantly surprised that uh, Lair the Lemma was from Chris Reed. Mm -hmm. Thanks, O'Brien's MK Smith said. Yes. Well, thank you for yeah. tuning in. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be back on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for some more games. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night.